Ben's Fast PHP Tutorials. Hello and welcome to Ben's Fast PHP Tutorials. Today we'll be learning basic PHP such as outputting text, variables, if statements, and functions. You may pause this video at any time in order to catch up or go over something that you might have missed. First, we're going to open up Dreamweaver, and now let's begin. You should have created a new PHP file. Completed anything that Dreamweaver has automatically added in there, and so you just have a blank slate. But before we begin, you have to have two other programs over besides Dreamweaver. You have to have an FTP program. I use Coffee Cup Free FTP, but you can really use whichever you want. And Internet Explorer open. Internet Explorer will that's where you're going to view it and you have to navigate it to the place of where your file is going to be the directory so I have my tutorial folder okay now we have to start our PHP code by doing an opening caret question mark and then typing PHP now the next line you'll put type echo ECHO then we're going to do opening the quote and then inside we're going to type hello world Then we're gonna do another quote, and then a semicolon. That's how you basically output text. You can make a new line, question mark, and then an end carry. All of your code has to be between the the two question mark openings. That's where you specify your PHP script. Now PHP should normally be in an HTML document. So we can do this. And then we'll create end our head and then we'll make a body. Now most of you people who know HTML, you have to know HTML in order to do PHP. The PHP itself isn't gonna output anything. You have to output HTML through PHP. It might sound a little bit confusing, but you'll get the hang of it. Okay, so that's gonna basically output hello world. Now if we save this. And we're going to call this my first, well, you can put it all together. You can really call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it my first PHP script. We're going to click save. And now we have to upload it. And here it is in our program. We're going to drag it over. Then we go to our Internet Explorer. Refresh. And here it is. So now we're going to click on it. And it says hello world. Now we're going to go back down into Dreamweaver and make this a little bit more complicated. So at the, before your HTML you start, you're going to put, you're going to do the same thing as you did before, creating those tags. But this time we're going to create a variable. It's a dollar sign. And then you're gonna write title. Okay, now you've just created a variable, but the variable isn't defined by anything. So you're gonna write an equal sign, and then you're gonna put two quotation marks, just like we did down below, and a semicolon. Now you can make the title whatever you want. Uh, my first H or PHP script. Okay? But the title isn't going to do anything by itself. It has to be told where to go or anything. So now inside here, we're going to do the same thing. PHP, and now we're going to use echo, but instead of putting the double quotation marks, we're just going to do title. Now you can change a variable to whatever you want. You can go and have it other pages imported, or and we'll get to that the, the next. But for now, we're just going to do that and end it. So now that it should echo out my first PHP script on the top, then we're going to save that, upload it, notice how it now says my first PHP script. Okay. 
So, now that it says hello world and my first PHP script, we can start getting complicated with it. Back in Dreamweaver, we can add if statements. Now, what if statements are going to do is they're going to tell you if this is equal to what whatever you specify, then do that. So here we're gonna make a new line. So we're gonna write if title and is equal to is two equal signs. You always have to remember that. If title is equal to my First PHP script, then it'll echo out the title. But if that isn't true, you put else. And that says if that's not true, then do this. And in here, we're going to put echo. some other text okay so now we have some other text here okay so now what, what we'll do is we'll put an explanation mark or whatever at the end so you can tell that it's different from our actual title variable so and if we do something like that here so when we echo this out, it still should say my first PHP script. We save it. Upload it. Refresh. <laughs> okay, so now we have our Hello World script and it still says my first PHP script. That's what's supposed to happen. Now, if we change this to... Bleh, I don't care. Random stuff and we save it upload it and refresh there now the title says some other text now the reason that it does this is because title the title variable is not equal to all this stuff but we can change it so it's like this. That means is not equal to. So, but this is not equal to that. So it should echo out my first PHP script. Okay. See, now it does say my first PHP script because this does not equal that. Now, we're going to get take this and just put this back to normal. So, and now what happens, because that is equal to that, it will say some other text. Watch. See? Some other text. That's all for today. Next time I'm going to show you how to do a whole lot more with PHP, including how to pass variables to other pages, and maybe even interacting with databases. It'll be really fun, and I can't wait to see you there. Thanks for watching my tutorial. Bye.